Hello again guys, uh, Godfather coming at you uh, with an update on something I've been doing for probably, let's say about the last 40 years, um, and uh, that would be metal detecting. Um, I've been into that um, since I moved to Florida, my first metal detector back in 81. And uh, did some off and on searching, you know, down in the Miami area and West Palm Beach and those areas. Um, you know, not often, just as a like a side hobby type deal. Um, not hardcore detecting either. Um, that came probably around. Uh, let's see, two thousand and seven or eight, somewhere around then. Um, I was getting out there because I moved to the Treasure Coast area, which is uh, pretty much in the center of the state, well, one third, one third up the state from uh, the Keys. But um, so you guys know, if you want to take a peek, this is my uh, Facebook page, Treasure Hunters Search and Salvage, or Search and Recovery. Um, and there's some pictures of things I found on here. I know uh, Rambler69 Tom had asked uh, me to do a video when I go out treasure hunting, and I will do that. Um, it's going to take time because, uh, first off, I can't get to the beach yet until my knee is completely healed. Because that unstable walking on the sand is not good. <laughs> but uh, And putting together a hunt video takes a lot of time because there's a lot of time you go out there and you don't find nothing. So, uh, me going to the beach and doing a video of me swinging a detector and not finding anything isn't very interesting. So it may take me a little bit of time to compile something that, uh, is interesting to see, but do, do go here and check this out. If you like the, you know, like the page, if you like, and you know, you get to see what, what I post up and what I do find, uh, I put on here and there's some interesting stuff that is posted. Um, you know, stuff from shipwrecks and, you know, oddball things are on there. But I want to give you an idea of where I'm at. Um, I just put this map up. I don't have a frame for it yet, but uh, I will be getting one. Um, as you can see, the keys are way down here. And uh, this is a map of Florida shipwrecks in the Gulf of Mexico and along the east coast of Florida. So if you start down here in the Miami area and you come up, uh, let me slow down because the camera won't focus. Let's see if it'll focus better. It probably won't focus because my hand is not steady enough. But anyway, you see that little red line there. That's uh, that's where I am, Port St. Lucie. And then, uh, as you can see, how many wrecks are along the beach here. So I'm right right smack dab, dab in the middle of it. But it goes all the way down. There's a lot of shipwrecks. You know, they come up here and they, they thin out a little bit. And then they go up here and they get pretty heavy. And then up in the Jacksonville, St. Augustine area there. A bunch there, but as you can see, there's wrecks all over the place that are known. So uh, you get the idea. I'm here, can hit all of this coast, and then two and a half hours over, I can hit this coast over here and search those areas. Um, also, down here, they have a depiction of the keys with all. The wrecks along the key is too. So that's that part. But um, what you got to keep in mind where I'm at, you cannot search in, in the water because um, Mel Fisher has uh, owns the rights to all the 1715 Spanish fleet wrecks. So um, you can't go out in the water with a metal detector. You can go out and dive swim around all you want, but if 
you take anything, <laughs> you could be in some serious problems. But um, there's a wreck that I've been researching now for about five years, and um, I've pretty much pinpointed where it is. But there's a problem in researching any further because the wreck falls in a on the borderline of a national park and state park and if you read metal detecting rules you cannot search in a national park or in a state park they will not allow it so um, that pretty pretty much puts a damper on it but there are some items south of the park that have been found from the wreck so it's a wreck that goes back to 1555 and uh, I don't know if you guys remember uh, the storm we had, Sandy, that did all the devastation up in the, in the New Jersey area and up in New England and that stuff. Um, that storm uh, stripped the beach pretty good, and there were coins from the 1500s being found along that beach. And uh, none of the coins found were over 1554. So that's a good indication that that wreck was a 1555 wreck. Um, because they're all older than that year, nothing newer. So that gives me the impression that that wreck is the one that I'm in search of. So hopefully, you know, I haven't found the ship itself, but uh, I have come across a... Uh, a war gun cannon, um, which is now under the sand because it cannot be moved. It's 16 feet long and iron, and you just don't move something like that on your back. But uh, that's another indication. Um, so what I'm going to do is... Uh, once I get back out there hunting, I will put together a hunt video. And uh, those of you who are interested in it, take a peek. Um, if not, don't look at it. <laughs> but, you know, some, some of you guys, some of you older guys out there might, you know, show some interest in that. Um, I know you're on here for models. Uh, but there are other hobbies out there other than models, so. And, and that's a, a good thing to pose to the community. What else do you do besides uh, besides building models? Uh, what are your other hobbies? Um, what do you like to do besides this? Because I know you can get to the point where, hey, I'm not building a model, so I want to go do this. I'm going to go, uh, you know, build a garden in my yard. <laughs> I'm sure there's other hobbies out there you guys do. So uh, if you have something like that, post it up. Um, and consider this my my video on other hobbies that you do. But visit my page. Let me know if you like it or not. Um, and I post up there quite often, so check it out. And uh, that's all I got. We'll talk to you guys later. And if you want to go treasure hunting and you're in Florida, hit me up. We can do that. Talk to you later.